Hey guys, Freya here. I will be using a VTuber for this one. It's just a fill-in for right now, kind of like a placeholder till I get my own. But today we're going to be playing Copy Playtime. I've seen a lot of people play this, a lot of bigger creators and a lot of smaller creators as well play this game. And to be honest, I really enjoy the game. So I figured, you know, why not? Kind of give it a try ourselves and see how it goes. So I'm excited to give it a shot and... Hopefully it goes well. Chapter 1. A Tight Squeeze As an ex-employee of Playtime Co., you finally return to the factory many years after everybody within disappeared. I absolutely hate mascots, hate people in masks, and it's just... <laughs> it is definitely a fear of mine, so... Um, we'll see how this goes, really. But I already hate Huggy. Um, not a fan. Look at his stupid ass smile. Not a fan. But, you know, here we go. So, honestly, I'm hoping to get through chapter one in this video. But, you know, we'll see. You are about to see the most incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy. And she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe? Just watch. Poppy Playtime! Poppy's as lovable as a real girl, and she talks like one, too. Hi, my name is Poppy. I love you. Can you help me Ugh. polish my shoes? Why, I don't like of course, dolls. Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect. Thank you. Her hair is sturdy and won't come out I like when you the brush color, it. Though. And smells just like a poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl. Just like you. What's the time? Play time! And if you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just $2.99 a person. An entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. We can... Interesting. Whoever drew that had a, a lot of time on their hands. But I mean, you know, if you go missing, I mean, maybe. <laughs> I'd assume so. Everyone thinks the staff disappeared 10 years ago. We're still here to find the flower. Vintage poppy commercial. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I don't actually think they went missing. I believe that murder has gone on. Oh. Uh. Okay. Escape. Okay. That's fine. Oh, I can go over this? Okay, how do I... Oh, E! I press E to use. Hi, my name is Leif Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. For example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, will turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. And that's one of the more tame aspects of our security system. No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. I mean, I'm pretty certain I'm supposed to be finding people who, uh, supposedly went missing, so... It sounds kind of worth it. 
Oh, God. The <laughs> sensitivity is wild. Okay. Boogie bot. You know, I want one. I don't want a huggy. I want a boogie bot. And a candy cat. But I don't... I don't want a huggy. Um, green, pink, yellow, red. That's gonna be useful. Is that oil or blood? Oh no, that's blood. Why do you bleed? Oh, I can crouch. Why do you bleed? You shouldn't bleed. Uh... Okay. Eat healthy like brawn. 4,000 calories? That, why does that sound like a lot? <sighs> Welcome. Poppy wants to play. I really like her red hair, but I don't like her. Dolls are awful. Oh, I like you. Can't pick you up. That's unfortunate. I already don't remember the colors. Pink. Green. I don't... I don't know. Let me just double back because I have a horrible memory. Um... What are you? Oh, green, pink, yellow, red. Green, pink, yellow, red. Green, pink, yellow, red. Ah, uh, Green, pink, yellow, red. There we go. <laughs> there we go. I... yeah. I, I, I figured it out. I have to press E. Can I have you? Oh. Okay. Playtime call. Grab pack. Tighten the straps. Uh huh. Hold both cannons. Okay. Pull trigger to fire. Pull again to retract. Hold to grip on to object. Only fire at small objects and handles. Okay. Do not fire at a co-worker. Oh. This may cause injury. <laughs> Unfortunate. Wire is conductive. Used for, re for rewiring. Thank you. Use your grab pack responsibly. I will. I'm sure of it. What's the time? Play time. I'm super certain I will use it responsibly. Oh. Oh. I have one hand though. Where's the other one? Oh wait, I can go this way now because I have the blue hand. Click. Oh. Click. Mm-hmm. Ugh. I'm not entirely sure that I want to. I don't... I don't want to. I don't... I don't wanna. I don't- I would appreciate it if you didn't squeeze me until I pop. Thank you. Um, I'm really bad at reading, but you know, we're gonna do it anyway. Huggy Wuggy 1984 to blank. Playtime Co. has designed hundreds of distinct toys, but none connected with people more than that of Huggy Wuggy. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, aimed to create a toy which could hug you forever. As is always true, Playtime Co.'s four-step process to creating the most lifelike toys was a success. With a bit of string and polyester, our lovable blue pal Huggy was brought to life. Huggy Wuggy has gone on to be Playtime Co.'s most popular and best-selling toy so far. Um... You know, I don't really like you. I'll give you a high five, though. But that's all you're getting. 
Can I go in any of these? This one's red underneath. Can I go in any of these? No. No. You're blue and red hand. No. That's where I came out of. No. Okay. Never mind. I don't like it. Hello? Is there somebody else here I should worry about? I don't... I feel like you're gonna look at me. Like, I feel like you're going to look at me. Ugh. I mean, thanks, I guess. I appreciate it. Um... <laughs> I appreciate it. You're not gonna go missing, are you? Uh... I don't like the noises. And it's dark. It's very dark. Ooh! There's no fucking way I just got locked out or locked in. Are you still there? I think you're still there. It kind of looks like it, but you know, whatever. Um. Oh. Come with me. Come with me. Are you the head? No. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Um, okay. Uh, remember. Do be kind to others, show up on time, do not hide behind doors to scare Lace Pierre. Got it. I'm gonna do that 100%. Remember, don't stay past 8pm, don't misuse company time, don't tamper with mission missionary, don't enter innovation wing without authorization. But it sounds like so much fun. It's really dark. Like, it's really hard to see. Um, okay. What am I... I just shattered that door. Okay. Hey, I did it. It's not too dark in here now. Oh, hey, you're gone! <laughs> I should have known. I... Should've known you would've disappeared and there's blood in the walls. Um... Yeah, sure. Why can't I go down here? I'm sure if I was smart, I could fall down there. Yep, you know, I kind of figured... ...that you would... ...be gone. And you are. Are you hiding somewhere? Where, where would you have gone? Like, this makes me uncomfortable. I guess you could say I'm afraid of the dark, but it's not because of- I guess it's not because it's the dark? It's because... Uh, because of stuff like that, actually. Ugh. Gonna close. Oh my fucking god. Okay. <laughs> I don't like that. Uh, yep, we're just gonna run. Cause that's the ideal thing. Oh. Oh, you're broken. Oh, you don't have a head. That's unfortunate. Yeet. Oh, but you do. You're gonna come with me. I said I would have you anyway. Oh, coming with me. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, was I supposed to get a tape? Is there a tape somewhere down here? You stay right there. 
Is is there Is there supposed to be a tape? Am I supposed to find one around here somewhere? If so, I am not looking, but I'm 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 doing my best. Is it back here behind the boxes? Come here. Yeet. No. Come here. Thank you. You were in my way. Um Nope, I I guess not. I got it. I mean, I guess it's not here and I'll just have to come back. Damn, I... Where'd you go? Oh. Thank you. Oh. Well, if I go down here, how do I get back up? Well, we're down here now, so it doesn't matter. Um... Oh, it does. Oh, that's as far as I needed to go anyway. Here's another battery. Is there a tape somewhere? There's- there's gotta be another tape, right? Somewhere? I would like to watch more tapes. Oh, found it. <laughs> found it. I'm going to go and watch this. <laughs> you got for me. Oh. Rich, where are they keeping the huggy boxes? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Remember when maintenance last did a sweep of this place? <laughs> no. Exactly. Nobody in this stupid company knows what they're doing. Oh, I swear, I haven't seen a single box in its place since they started flooding the storehouse with orphanage junk. Right. I get it. It's a nice program and all on brand, but... Uh, it's just hard to be happy about it when manufacturing's on our necks about it, because we can't find stupid hockey boxes! Rich. Oh, you're right. You're right. It's... It's for the orphans. I just wish there were less boxes. Anything less would be more habitable. Is, is that even a word? Habitable. Oh, poor Rich. I mean, they're not giving him enough huggy boxes, I guess, for the orphans, I guess? Because they're making them for orphans? Hey, you're full. No, you're not. I lied. Um, I don't actually know. I got it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> but where's... Unfortunate. Can I not grab you? But you're right there. You're, 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 you're right there. Okay, I guess. I run weird. But it's fine. It's fine, I guess. Oh! Uh, oh! Uh. <laughs> that's not really appreciated, buddy. Uh-huh. I can almost reach it from up here. Drop it. <laughs> I five myself. Oh, I press E on it. I don't... I don't like that. Oh, bye, baby. I don't like you either. Oh, but I can't grab you. <gasps> Wait! Wait a minute. 
There's a door back in the front room, is there not? Am I going to be able to go back through there? Or do I have to kind of go back? I don't, I don't want to miss anything. Oh, hopefully it lets me go back. Whoa. Oh, this way. Maybe? Complete the circuit. How do I... How do I do that? Oh. Which means it's gotta be here. Let's go around and up. No, that won't work. This way. Let's... Uh... No, I can't do that. And I can barely jump. Ugh. Okay, bye. Whoa. Was that Huggy? Was he behind me? Uh, where am I looking? This way. Oh, okay. Oh, baby leg. Oh, more baby legs. Uh, any more baby legs? Yeah, more baby legs. Okay. I would... Appreciate getting out now. Um. Okay. Um. I don't like the music. Also, I am very clunky. <laughs> I'm very clunky. Oh, there is a tape somewhere, but where? Okay. Oh, you're right there! That's smart. Go put you in and watch you. So, Stella, what made you want to work at the Playtime Co. Factory? Playing with toys when I was young was so magical. I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. It was such a great feeling. And... Being able to work at a toy factory, somewhere that can provide kids with that same experience? Why can't we see their face? It's a pretty great feeling, too. Sometimes, though, I really, really wish I could go back. To being a kid, I mean. And it's weird, because adults are just kids, but older. I don't think anyone ever really feels like an adult. But your body just gets older and older, and then you die. Yep. Poof. <laughs> Pretty much. Human bodies just can't stay young forever. There's things, though. Like some trees that can stay alive even while being way older than a person. I mean, the oldest people to ever live are still younger than those. Mm -hmm. So I guess everyone is always young relative to something. Right? All right. I think we're getting a little off track. You know, that's pretty optimistic to think about, though. Compared to a lot of things in our world, we're still considered pretty young. Even when we're old. Oh. So even when we're old, we're still considered young. Oh, it's gonna give out, though. Hold on. There we go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh. Oh, jeez. This is unfortunate. Ouch. <laughs> okay. 
I mean, it shouldn't have hurt me that bad because of how I fell, but... I mean... <laughs> I mean, I did fall, so I guess... Okay. I guess it makes sense in some way. But, like... Oh! I didn't see you there. No. Thank you. Let's go this way. Um... I feel like we should do this. And then that. This is unfortunate. Um, <laughs> I'm not a, I'm not a puzzle kind of gal. This is a little tricky. Cool, 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 cool. Should I just do it this way? And then, Go this way, and then... No, because I can't. How am I... How am I supposed to do this? Because if I go this way too far... It doesn't work. Let's just... Quickly do a loop. Then... Maybe. I got it. I did it. What did that do? I'm not entirely sure what that did, but it's fine. We're gonna figure it out. <laughs> We're gonna figure it out. If I can get down here quick enough. What was I supposed to do? Press the button. Oh, shit. Nobody leaves without a toy. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, was a visionary. He set the stage for all of Playtime Co.'s greatest feats. Yet, of all the amazing things that he created, the Make a Friend machine is one of the most creative, impressive, and advanced. It is solely responsible for nearly every Playtime Co. toy sold on the market to this day. All it needs is to be fed the proper parts and it will then paint, assemble, and do a quality inspection of the toy all on its own. Gone is the need for complex sorting or backbreaking labor. This machine can do all that and more. Okay, what am I... You have a light on this one. Give me toys. Give me toy parts. Are you gonna make a toy for me? Are you following me? You are, and it's disgusting. I'm gonna have to ask you to cease and desist. Please. Where's my toy? Where's my toy? Oh? Oh, I don't like that. Oh, cool! I'm getting one of those bee friends. <laughs> I'm getting a bee cat. I'm <laughs> cat bee. Ew. Uh, those are the eyes. Uh, you're a dirty board. Okay. What are you doing to it? There's no way that that did that. Can I press a button over here? What the hell? Can I just have my toy? Please? Can I just have my toy? It would... it would be great. It would be great... It'd be appreciated if I could have my toy.
Thank you. What? Oh, E. Yeah. <laughs> Cappy. Oh, I remember this, and I don't think I'm very prepared for this. I don't... Hey, I see you over there. Uh, okay. You're gonna jump scare me, aren't you? No? I think you are. Yep, I, <laughs> I figured! <laughs> I don't like him. I don't like him at all. He's so scary looking. Oh, and he's right there. That's even worse. Nope. I'm not. I'm not turning around even though. Ooh, shit. <laughs> Look down. Look down. Just go. Just go. Just run. He is. He is right there. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's gonna get me. Oh for sure. He's gonna get me. There's no way he wouldn't. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure that he is wonderful. I don't I don't think that he is. Okay, let's get this over with. Yep, there you are, and you drop my frame rates. Thank <laughs> thank you. It's greatly appreciated. And down we go, and around. Down, and we're gonna go this way. I still can't stand him. <laughs> okay, um... Down, down, thank you. If this is as fast as I can run, man, I've got some stubby legs. I don't... I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I don't I don't actually know where I'm supposed to go. It's it's a high level chase scene and I can't seem to find the right path. Okay. He's gonna drop my frame rate. There he is. There it goes. <laughs> bye bye frame rate. Um, we're gonna drop down here. We're gonna go. He's terrifying. I hate him so much. <laughs> You'll never understand my hatred for this guy. Down. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I think it's the right. But it's this way. It's this way? It's this way. Nope, it's straight. It is straight. It is straight. And through here and around. This way. Fuck. It's this way. No, it's not. God damn it. God damn it. I almost ran right into him. I can't run. I can no longer run. <gasps> oh, he bled. Oh, he bled. He was bleeding? There's the flower, but he was bleeding? Is he a... Is he a dude in a costume? Like, I'm... I'm getting those vibes? I don't know, but I don't ever want to go through that again. Like, it would be greatly appreciated if I never went through that again. Hey. There's a tape thing over here. Oh. You. Okay. 
Okay. Final log in relation. Experiment 1006. The prototype. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Though still missing, today's events are no doubt in relation to him. His absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. That's why I'm making this log, so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Any future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not, end of... Oh. Unfortunate. Rest in peace, I think? But still, Huggy bled. I don't... I don't understand, but... No run, no stop, danger, go back, turn around, no run, stop, no. Oh? The music is soothing, but it's... It's got grandma wallpaper. Oh. Unfortunate. Ooh, a door. doll you're you know kind of cute but i hate you like <sighs> oh god you opened my case oh okay <laughs> Well, that wasn't very long, but you know, that's okay. I'm here for it. I enjoyed it. You know, I enjoyed that. Um, fucking Huggy is terrifying. That's, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, that was chapter one. Um, you know, I genuinely enjoyed that thoroughly. Um, it has a weird, eerie vibe to it, and I really like that about it. Um. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> um. So this was chapter one. Um. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all your support. Um. If you're feeling up to it, like and subscribe. I will be definitely doing this more often. And hopefully you can catch me when I play chapter two. But other than that, it's been fun. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.